bloops de bloops happy day it's a weekend if you're listening on the weekend i moved what a time had i moved in my last episode i don't know but here we are wanted to drop a few recommendations from costco since i moved and have been to costco many a time jumping right in my first product rec is no sugar keto bombs these are reese's peanut butter cups but so much healthier and better i'm obsessed zero grams of sugar one net carb seven grams of healthy fats mcts gluten-free non-gmo they're reese's they're reese's peanut butter cups but so good and rich in flavor and and healthy fat and coconut oil and it was just like the yummiest best purchase ever this package from costco has a bunch of peanut butter dark chocolate cups as well as fudgy brownie cups like a dark chocolate situation the peanut butter is my favorite You can get them online or at Costco. So shout out to No Sugar Keto Bombs. They're very addicting and I like that they are filling so it doesn't make you want to grab 75. You know what I'm saying? Very, very happy. Definitely is going to be a permanent part of my rotation. Next thing to recommend is Soli Simple Spaghetti Squash. Really, really good. It's just spaghetti squash, but in the pasta aisle, you don't have to refrigerate it. It comes all stringy and yummy. You know, spaghetti squash is so good, but if you don't feel like stringing the strings, you just get this package as is, pop it into hot water for five minutes. You can eat it as is. You can have a spaghetti squash primavera, add some vegetables to that, keep it as pasta. I put mine in a little bowl with black beans, brown rice, tomatoes, and green onion, and just called it a day. Really easy, so good. You can also get this on Amazon. I mean, hello, low in carb, gluten-free, keto, delicious, bomb.com, permanently obsessed. And my last little rec of the day is Clio Greek yogurt bars. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, these taste like cheesecake and they're just Greek yogurt covered in dark chocolate. It's literally strained Greek yogurt with a cheesecake texture wrapped in chocolate equals this little mini Clio bar. The Costco pack has vanilla and strawberry. Vanilla was my fave and it also comes in peanut butter, honey, blueberry, peach, espresso. I mean, can you even go to cleosnacks.com, C-L-I-O snacks.com to see what Costco or store you can find them. You can get them online as well. And they are chilling in the yogurt and refrigerated bar aisle. I don't think I'm really properly describing how much I love these. I love that they're small and also have protein similar to keto cups or else you know you just like want to go and go and go and go with like little ice cream bites but these are healthier and they're more filling they also oh I'm looking at their site they also have like vanilla minis to me they're they're already mini those must be really mini mini and I just am so so happy with these all three of these things I'm saying today You know, I'm not paid to talk about. They're my genuine opinions. And I am very, very, very much keeping all three in my permanent rotation until I'm tired of them. Uh, Like, please, please, if you buy these, DM me, Dying of Laughter podcast on Instagram and just, like, tell me how much you love them because they are too, too good. Okay, and then Clubhouse. Let's talk about it for a second. Um, wow. I... Didn't really get the hype. Uh, I think I was in the wrong rooms. So if you don't get the hype, I think you're in the wrong rooms. Uh, please follow Donna Bowling and Erica Reitman. Those are two recs. I mean, you don't have to. You can do whatevs. But I really like them. They have all these good tips and tricks for, like, putting yourself out there on their Donna is spelled D-A-N-A bowling, like bowling ball. And then Erica Reitman, R-E-I-T-M-A-N. Yeah, the power of putting yourself out there. I was reminded of that when on a Saturday night I just popped into an industry room it was like agents casting I was like okay what's this all about I feel like I already know what they're gonna say you know for like beginner actors I don't know like I don't need to talk about headshots at this point you know what I'm saying um no shade if you do great resource hello I would have been thrilled to have had this resource in college or before etc and I just got on stage or whatever asked a question And three different people knew who I was. And I was so taken aback. I'm not trying to be like toot horn McGee. Like no one likes to toot horn McGee. But I was just like, 
what? Like you do? And one was a manager, one was a producer, and one was a woman who had seen my parodies um, of Jonathan Vanessa. And I just was like, oh my God. It was a reminder that when you put yourself out there, that information is received. So whether you're posting on Facebook and people aren't really engaging or on Instagram and you don't get a lot of comments or you're turning in a project at work and maybe clients or coworkers aren't responding. It's, it's just a reminder that people are taking that information in. When you put yourself out there, you do make an impact. You know, I, I just sometimes don't even know who knows who, you know, it's all remote now and weird, but I would have never known that those people had, had known me if I had not got on stage and spoken and then we had a nice little exchange like, oh my gosh, thank you. You're cool. You're cool. This is fun. It's Saturday night. You know, just a nice authentic moment. So if you're curious about Clubhouse, this is my little sign to you to pop on. If you're in weird rooms, keep following people because then it will suggest better rooms or different rooms for you. And put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to like mod a room, ask a question. Or if you're inspired by someone that speaks and you want to DM them on Instagram, I think it could lead to a really positive conversation. So Just leaving those little tips with you today. Have a good Saturday. Happy weekend, wherever you are. And yeah, you guys are awesome. I'm just, you know, finishing up moving. So getting everything squared away. I'm so excited about some of the episodes coming up. Um, Yeah, we have some comedians and like some fancy podcast people. And also just like cool people that you don't know that you'll be happy to meet. So happy week. Thanks, guys. And... I hope you get some clear bites, some pita bombs, and spaghetti squash. Bye.